I'm Andrew Scott and I'm the Programme Manager responsible for the Offshore Wind Programme at the ETI. The UK has one of the world's largest offshore wind resource potentials. Putting wind turbines into, wind, into windier areas um, off the coast, off the southwest of England, the northwest of Scotland and the northeast of Scotland could play a significant part in helping to reduce the cost of energy in the UK in the medium to long term perhaps bringing offshore winds down to a level where it competes with other forms of low carbon generation without the need for subsidy. These windier areas tend to be in deeper waters than the current offshore wind farms. That means that we need to actually develop a cost effective solution for actually providing foundations for those deeper waters. And analysis has shown that as you move into deeper waters and certainly by 60 metres and perhaps shallower than that, moving to floating foundations rather than foundations fixed to the seabed is likely to be cost effective. Our project is targeting the creation of a cost effective floating platform for the 60 to 100 metre water depth. We've commissioned Gloucester Associates to actually carry out a front end engineering design study um, for their tension leg platform solution to be installed at the Wave Hub site off the northwest of Cornwall. In addition, Gloucester will also be carrying out a sensitivity study so we understand the changes that might be required to apply their solution across a wide range of UK waters, not just the Wave Hub site. Gloucester are partnered by Armstrong Wind as the turbine supplier and Harland and Wolf from Belfast who would, who would build the, the full-scale demonstrator um, if, the, if we proceed to that stage. The front-end engineering design study will take about 12 months. After that the ETI will then consider um, investing in a, in a full-scale demonstrator to actually build a floating platform at the Wave Hub site with a full-scale 6 megawatt Alstrom turbine on it if there is a good enough business case. If that project goes ahead we would expect to see the floating demonstrator on the water by 2016, perhaps slightly earlier but most likely in the summer of 2016.